Welcome to the Assimilators. It's time to dig deeper into the discussion on racism in Shakespeare's Othello. You can see the typed version of this topic in the description or by enabling captions in YouTube Player. Let's begin. Introduction. Racism, to simply put, is the discriminatory or abusive behavior towards members of another race. Othello, the play written by Shakespeare, is also based on racism. In fact, racism is one of the most prominent motifs behind the play. Racism is depicted through the jealousy of Iago with Black Othello. Racial discrimination, illustrated in Othello is historical and realistic. Historical context. Shakespeare wrote this play in 1604. But it showcases Elizabethan flux against the Spanish Moors which were racially targeted. Shakespeare's six months interaction with Morocco's ambassador gave him enough insight about racism who had come to request Queen Elizabeth an alliance with Morocco against Spain. Moors were usually disliked by many Europeans because of their black complexation. So, the racial feature of the play tends to inherit some historical dilemma. Othello's gallantry minus by Iago's prejudice. Othello is the general of the prospering city of Venice. He has made his name through intellectual as well as martial victories over his enemies in the battlefield. Othello promotes Cassio to the rank of lieutenant and this infuriates Iago. Iago, then, makes the best use of racial indifference to achieve his evil motives. The question arises, is Iago magnifying the already prevailing racial prejudice or is he establishing the racial atmosphere as anew? The answer is rather difficult to answer as Othello is highly regarded by the Venetian government despite his being a Moor. However, Iago exponentiates the racial prejudice subtly and successfully for the noble demise of Othello. So, in Iago's perspective, racial prejudice is a plot rooted in jealousy. Brabantio's racist attitude towards Othello. Brabantio, who once loved and invited Othello to his residence, suddenly changes his side to stand against Othello. Why? Since he loved Othello personally, but still Moors were not respected in the Venetian society. That is why, Brabantio accuses Othello of raping his beloved daughter to, number one, secure his seat in the Senate, number two, retain his respect, reputation and honor in the Venetian society. But the Duke advises Brabantio to have faith in Othello because he is fair than black. Othello sniffs a little racism. My parts, my title and my perfect soul shall manifest me rightly says Othello who is still unaware of the purposeful hatred against him. But to his heart, he believes, and yet, how nature erring from itself. He inwardly believes that Desdemona might betray him for his dark complexation. After being racially poisoned by Iago, Othello determines that he will send Desdemona out of his household if she is found racially dejected of him. Othello is questioned. Iago keeps feeding Othello of Desdemona's disloyal attitude. His rage and agony against her continues to nurture every day and night. One day, when Lodovico brings a letter for Othello, Desdemona gets it first and Othello misunderstands that the letter has come from her supposed lover. Resultantly, he slaps Desdemona. Lodovico is shocked to see the other side of the shiny coin and questions, is this the noble more whom our full senate call all in all sufficient? Is this the nature? Murder. After Iago successfully convinces Othello of Desdemona's infidelity, Othello smoothers his fair Desdemona. After he has accomplished the deadliest task, his skin color is used to describe his cruelty. For instance, Amelia calls him a blacker devil. Amelia also exclaims that Desdemona was too fond of her filthy bargain. Such racist terms leave no ground for Othello to stand again respectfully. Conclusion. Othello lived a life without social prejudice but his opponents used his color to frame Othello in his own love and unfathomable jealousy. When Othello committed all those crimes out of the green-eyed monster, people, once who admired him, 
defamed and condemned Othello, not by his character, but by his black color. You have successfully made through the end of this video. Pen down your valuable suggestions for our improvement or what to cover next. Like and subscribe if you find this video useful. Dislike and unsubscribe if this channel is no more useful to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.